What's happening? Welcome back to another episode of the Account for Your Life podcast. Jay Moore, the healthy accountant, helping you to account for life. What an awesome, incredible day. Today on the podcast, here's what we're talking about. Going beyond your threshold of control. I'm going to ask you a question. Look, if if you were looking to make more money, if you were looking to um, start a business, if you were looking to lose weight, if you were looking to fix something about your life or whatever it is you could be facing, what do you think the biggest block, what do you think a major obstacle would be in getting over to the next level? I know. What do you think that is? So in this episode, I'm going to share with you what I learned from Tony Robbins about going going beyond your threshold of control. Um, also, um, a, a snippet of some ideas that I shared inside of a coaching call that I had just yesterday, and then just kind of how we can like chart the course forward, living our lives, living, living our life and going to the next level. So I was a couple of nights ago, I think I shared this yesterday, um, went on YouTube and there was a five hour free Tony Robbins event that popped up in my feed. I was like five hours. Wow. I said, man, and it's on here. I was surprised. I said, it's usually not on YouTube. They usually, if they did, they take it right down. So I jumped in, I jumped on it, watched about two hours of it. And a couple of things that I just, yesterday I talked about the psychology of, you know, how when our psychology changes, our attitude changes, everything can change. But he said something in this, in this um, program that he did. And it was, one of the biggest blocks that entrepreneurs have, because he was talking to business owners, is getting past their threshold of control. When I heard it, I knew exactly what he was talking about. I knew, I'm like, I, I was like, oh my goodness. And so here's my quote from it. Personal J. Moore quote. It's, it's what you know that's keeping you from where you want to go. What you know. It's not what you don't know. It's what you know, because in going beyond your threshold of control, I'm going to have to shed all of, I'm going to have to shed things that I know in order to go up, in order to get to this new level of life, business, success. One of the biggest challenges I've had is just that. It's what I know. It's not what I don't. Because what I know is com- is completely sabotaging the next level. Now, in the book, Living Life on the Next Level, chapter, the second law is concentration. Concentration, focus. Think about, think about if, if you were, if you were running, like if you went out for a run and, you know, you had to run, you know, two miles, um, and you had a specific route that you had to run these two miles. The only way to get to where it is you're going to go is to run the route. No deviations, go straight or whatever it is. Even if you have turns, a lot of times as entrepreneurs, what we do or what I've personally done is I would be running and then I would get off the exit. I would, I would stop. I would stop and then look. Like, hmm, am I going the right way? And this is the biggest, this is one of the biggest challenges because you get to a point where you can't, you can't control something because it's like, oh, well, I've never done that before. Think about it. Have you ever said, man, I've never done that before, so I don't know how to do it. And then because I don't know how to do it, I don't do it. Now, here's the thing. And this is one of the things that I've, that I didn't know, I, I haven't mastered, to be honest here. I haven't mastered this. I'm going to tell you. This is one of the biggest skills in entrepreneurship. You want to know what it is? It's a D word. No, it's not discipline. Nope. <laughs> it's delegation. Delegation. And it hit me just a day or two ago. I was like, delegation is you delegate the things that you suck at. You don't delegate the things that you're good at because you, you can keep doing those, but you delegate the things that you suck at. You find somebody who loves doing the thing that you don't love. Man, I think I was delivered this week because there's things that I don't love to do that I find myself doing or do or have doing when I can get somebody to do it. Now, there's things that I don't do anymore, like, you know, Jenny handles 
you know, accounting stuff. I don't because I don't want to do any accounting now. I still I get pulled into it here and there. Um, I don't love that. There's I don't even love doing tax returns. I don't love that. I don't because because it's a process. Like anything that's like the the thing processing, I don't want to do it. I, I don't mind doing this kind of stuff. But that kind of stuff, no, I don't want to do it. So, so, but I realized that D word, the delegation is key. Going behind thresh, threshold of control. And in this idea, I was on the phone with a uh, on a Zoom call with with a client yesterday. It's been about an hour, just kind of go over some things, what's going on, but what she's doing. And then I had the chance to to learn more about what she's doing because I, you know, because I've only known her about six six months, right? I've only known her about six months. So you you're you're constantly learning about people. So I'm learning about what you know more about her business, and then the part of a business that she's not focused on, the part of a business that could be the most impactful. I'm talking to her, and she's yeah, you know, she's doing one thing, but really wants to be able to do this other thing, and she started doing it, and she hit this, she hit this. Per- proverbial threshold and then she pivoted she turned and went to the thing that she just knew how to do and i said to myself that's interesting we're on we're on we're on we're on i'm just like look at that look at how much look at all this like, like you have skills around it but you got to a place where you weren't comfortable you weren't comfortable because you felt like you needed something this i used to be this way i used to feel like i needed more education like I like these days, the education I get now, it's just it's all free stuff. It's just YouTube. You know, I listen to stuff, watch stuff on YouTube. I haven't been doing a lot of paid stuff. Not that I don't pay. Um, I'm not currently in a coaching program, which is not normal. I, I one just recently finished um, beginning of the year. Well, actually in February, Mar- March. So but I need to get in another one. Well, I, technically, I am, I am in one. So I. I I'm always in something. But at any rate, when you when when you're, I guess, developing yourself, because this is all about development. When you're developing yourself, it's what should I be concentrating on? What's the thing I should concentrate on the most? What is going to get me the biggest results? There's a book behind me. Um, you probably can't see it. It's this one here, Who Not How. It's written by um, my man Dan Sullivan and Dr. Benjamin Hardy. Actually, Dan Sullivan, which is great. It's his information, but Dr. Hardy, Benjamin Hardy, wrote the book for Dan Sullivan, which is crazy. Dan Sullivan didn't write the book. And he and he's honest. If you get the audio, like I have the audio, and I listen to the audio, he's like, Yeah. But Hardy goes to Dan. And it's like, hey, I think I want to take the concept that you have and write a book for you. He's like, great, let's do it. Let's do it. And here's the thing. All he did was tell him about the thing that he he just gave him a little shit. Hey, this is this is good. This is good. This is good here. And then Ben Hardy goes to write the book on the information that Dan Sullivan's doing. And he never had to do it. He he's got a best selling book. But he didn't have to do it. There was he delegated to somebody that was way better at writing. I'm in the process of doing something like that right now. I've got a book coming out next month, hopefully before the middle of next month, going beyond tax strategy. Going be here, look, look, we talking about going beyond your threshold of control, going beyond tax strategy. And I didn't, and I'm not, I have a I have someone who's helping me write it. I provided the context and then they provided the content, meaning they took the context. Well, they took my content and made and the context and then they meshed it all together for me. And I'm it's one it's one of the most beautiful things. That book behind me, Next Level Faith, the same way. Got somebody, gave that person all my information, all the information I had for the book, and they were able to then. Help me craft a book. My next book, after be going beyond test strategy, is going to be the same way. I'm going to give the information. It's going to be powerful. And then the writer is going to take it and it's bam, it's going to be great. This is what a lot of authors do, to be honest. Unless someone's just a writer. But if you see a lot of business people don't necessarily, I'm not, some do. We have some people that if that's your jam, if you're just a writer, then you should write. That's not my jam. I'm not a writer. 
that would have taken me beyond my threshold of control when I could have delegated it to someone else. So there's some things that I have not attempted by myself. That is interesting. Something like, oh, this is this is learning. I'm just learning. I'm learning something as I'm talking to you about this. I did not attempt to try and write a book by myself. Haven't done it yet. It was beyond my it was beyond my threshold in writing. Wow. All right. So let's I want to unpack this slow. Here's why. Because. I don't know, for me, this is this is this is major. This is a breakthrough moment. The problem that I've personally had in business is that I've known how to do things. And then what happens is you don't know when to bring someone else in to do them. If you look at a successful business, that's usually what the own, the business owner does. They realize what they're going to do. And then they just get, they just make sure that they have people who are, who are world-class in those areas. And I'm sitting here thinking about how, how I, how I'm doing the book writing and how it's coming about. And because it's coming, like I'm not actually putting pen to paper. Now, Living Life on the Next Level was a specific book that I had to write in a specific way. That one, I, I, I just, I didn't have a bunch of stuff already. That one, I just, I had a concept and I pushed it out. And then I just gave it to an editor and publisher to to pull it together for me. I still didn't try and publish it, even though they said, oh, you can self-publish. Yeah, you can do everything by you. You can do anything today. But here's the thing. Why would you try and do everything? Because by trying to do everything, you don't actually get to do everything. If you talk to a freelancer today, what you'll find is a freelancer trying to do everything and they're still not making $100,000. Most freelancers never make $100,000. Most freelancers dream of making $10,000 every single month. They're dreaming of it. Oh, I wish I could make $10,000 a month. That's it. That's, that's the goal. So while I was in my conversation with my client yesterday, we went pretty deep. We went pretty deep on the psychology. The psychology needed for the next level. There's a psychology that's that's neat. It's kind of like if I'm thinking about her next level, her next level was realizing that she didn't need anything, realizing that she's all powerful, realizing that she's the product that she needs to put into the marketplace. That's what we took away. I said, you're the product. She has programs built. Oh, I got these programs, but no one's buying it. I know. You, It's you. They're not buying the program. They're going to buy you. They're going to buy you because you're going to show them a transformation in you that then would make them want to get you so that whatever you offer them, they'll take it and then they'll get you. But in going beyond the threshold of control, it all comes back to the attitude. My attitude towards what I'm doing, my attitude to who I'm becoming, my attitude to where I'm going. Becoming the most important step. You know, it's interesting because I've been doing these podcasts for, you know, Account for Life podcast came about officially March of 2020. The Enlightenment broadcast that I um, streamed live on Facebook from June of twenty June of twenty seventeen until basically February of twenty twenty. That was a that, that that that's a powerful period of discovery. When I look back and I say, "Well, what have I been doing the past <laughs> seven years?" discovering who I am and in discovering who I am, then, then, then in discovering who you are, when you discover who you are, what you can find in the process 
is your threshold, the threshold that you get to that will stop you from where it is that you would like to go. And if, look, if I want to make an impact, I was thinking about this on my way back from the gym. If I'm going to make an impact, I've got to make an impact in me to the point where people can see it. People have to see the impact. People have to know that it's real. People have to say that, wow, that is real. And then if I'm going to offer somebody something, if I'm going to offer them a book, a program, a master class or a training, whatever it is. They start saying it's not that it's not that they're saying, hey, I just want to buy Jay's thing or buy your thing. No, they don't. They don't. They, they don't care. They want to get to where they would like to go. And if they have to, if they have to buy your book, buy your program, work with you, they'll do it. And for the right people, it won't matter how much it costs. Even if it's just a book, like, oh, book is $14.99. Oh, the book is $15. Oh, the book is $10.99. Like, it's nothing. So when we get to the point in our lives, when we realize that Getting beyond the threshold of control first requires an attitude adjustment. Bam. Adjust the attitude, but then realize, hey, to get beyond this, to get beyond this threshold is to grow. That's in essence what it comes down to. How do I need to grow? And in most cases, there's probably a delegation involved. And then in some cases, there's there's a problem there's a problem that that we have to figure out how to solve. And that was the thing that we talked about yesterday in my coaching call. It's a problem. And we get to this problem and then we either allow the problem to be too big for us or that problem consumes us. Make a choice today. Choose today how like the problem that that's in your life because you have a problem. Everybody got, got got one major problem, at least one major problem. And ask yourself, how long have I had this problem? And am I willing to solve the problem? Meaning, meaning every problem can be solved. And if you decide I will be the one who solves this problem, then you have to. It's the attitude adjustment. Change your attitude. Look at the problem and realize that there's no problem in your life that you can't solve. So when we make a decision to solve the problem, we'll get beyond our threshold of control so that we can get to the next level problem, which would require the same exact thing. So getting beyond your threshold of control starts with an attitude adjustment, realizing there's a problem in my life, taking that problem and going through a process to solve it no matter what. So that you can one, level up, to the next, the next level, which is taking your, like living life on the next level, concentrating on what you have to do, making the changes that you have to make. So guys, I appreciate you for joining me. Make sure if you haven't gotten one of those books back there, um, definitely grab Living Life on the Next Level. That's the brand new book. It's on Amazon. You can get a copy from me. I'll sign it, leave a quote in it for you with my name. It'd be like a vintage copy at some point, right? Leave it, leave a comment below next level. I'll send that out to you. Look, if you want both, I can do, I can send both right from here. Um, but if you want to, uh, Amazon, you can grab Amazon if you got Prime. So go check those out. Love to, love to get your feedback on it. Guys, I appreciate you. And I will see you back here tomorrow. God bless. Peace. This has been the Account for Your Life podcast with your host, the healthy accountant himself, Jay Moore. Until next time, make it a great day.